All right, we are going to be going over our Unit 3 review. Um, this video, we're going to be talking about the first graph on the review. And remember, our Unit 3 is about functions. So we're going to try and do all the things about functions that we can find in this graph. So in this graph, um, this is Sinclair's DoorDash delivery. Okay, so Sinclair is... Uh, biking around the city delivering his food from a uh, cooking club yeah Wednesday cooking club make some good food I gotta go out make all my deliveries uh, to all my students so this is a graph that is looking at my um, it's looking at my time and my distance from my house so here I am on my bike um, notice safety first I would like to point out a couple things um, you always got to have your helmet um, some high visibility shirt maybe a, a flag to help with visibility on your bike because safety first when you're doing DoorDash deliveries on your bicycle okay and then we also have on here this is going to be my distance okay so now I want you to remember that um, our y values is going to be the range and our x values is going to be the domain here so you can see that my graph runs from well what's not written right here is a zero and a zero so I have a zero on the y-axis and a zero on the x-axis so my domain is going to run from time zero that's when I start my deliveries all the way to 10 hours my god what a long day of deliveries 10 hours of deliveries I hope I had some breaks so my domain is always going to be the x values so let's write these down my domain is my x values it is how wide my graph is okay and then my range is going to be the y values so here I can say my range range is my y values and that is going to be how tall my graph is and here I also run from zero but this time I run to the tallest part of the graph which is going to be eight okay so my range is going to go from zero to eight and my domain is going to go from zero to ten if I actually wanted to write this out uh, in in the correct notation I would need to say my domain equals and then I'm going to use my zero and I'm going to say that is less than or equal to X which is less than or equal to 10 and the reason why I use the equal sign is the zero is included in my graph and the 10 is included as well so we have to have the equal sign on there and then the same thing for my my range my range is going to run from zero and that's going to be less than or equal to now my y values which is going to be less than or equal to and this time we're going to use the top of my um my range right here which is going to be eight so we'll put an eight there and again i choose these because it's actually a closed well let's double check if this is an open circle or closed circle at the eight so if I go up here and I look at eight and I go on over, yes, these values are in fact all eight tall. So I do make it up to uh, eight miles away from home. So I'm eight miles away from home here. So that would be a closed circle because I do achieve that distance from my house. Now, we are going to try and talk about all these different sections on my graph okay so let's start with section a for section a we can actually write out a story so we can see that on section a during my time during my first hour i bike three miles 
see this first hour I achieved three miles away from home so you can say during let's write this over here during the first hour I bike three miles away three miles away from my house now if we wanted to label these as domain and range this right here hours first hour this is going to be an x value so that would be part of my domain and then the three miles that is a y value now if i want to do some function notation for this one we could say a couple things we could say like during f of zero or f of one equals three so i could say some stuff like this i could say i know that f of one equals three because i can see this point on the graph i can see this point right here if i wanted to estimate some i could even estimate what half an hour gets me so half an hour would be right here and that would be up here at it looks like a mile and a half okay so i could even say something like this i could say f of half an hour which is 0 0.5 equals and then if I go up so here let's take this we go up to this point that would take me over to this point which is about a 1.5 so I'd have a 1.5 here as my output so you can find these input output pairs um, during any of these sections now let's talk about section B okay so section B in section B, that's an interesting section because this is the first time that you don't see me moving anywhere, okay? So notice this, from all the way from the beginning of B to the end of B, I'm staying at three miles away from home, okay? So that means that I've actually stopped. I've stopped riding my bike and I'm taking a rest. So here we can say, Sinclair takes a rest for, um, let's see, how long did I take a rest for? One hour, two hours. I take a rest for two hours. Now, if we wanted to label this, this again would be my domain or X value. And where am I actually resting? I'm resting at a location that is three miles away. Okay, so I'm just sitting there three miles away. Maybe I'm delivering food. Maybe I'm having breakfast. Who knows? But Mr. Sinclair is just chilling uh, for two hours during section B. Now, let's talk section C. Section C is a pretty steep jump. It jumps from um, this 3-3 three, three, all the way up to 4-8, okay? So we could say something like this. We could say section C starts at, um, and then I'll use my color coding. I'll say um, input 3 and output 3. That's where I started. That's the end. Hour 3, I end my nap. I end my break and ends at, and then where does it end? It ends here at uh, four and at eight. Ooh, so I actually achieved my highest uh, distance, my farthest distance from home here. So I would say, um, let's see, it ends at four. So I'd say four comma eight. Now this means I biked, okay? So we could say Sinclair takes one hour from three to four. So that would be one hour, 
to bike. And let's see how far did I bike. I went from three miles away to eight miles away. So that would be to bike five miles. So actually, if you wanted to know a speed here, we could even say how fast Sinclair is going because all we have to do is say uh, his speed equals is miles per hour. So in other words, I went five miles per one hour. So I was going five miles an hour, all right? Which is not too bad for a speed. Stay clear.